Yeah, hi, my name is uh, Greg Park. I'm a golf professional from Australia. Uh, I work for Golf Line Prime Limited at Kepler Golf Club. Yeah, today, is, I just want to give the members of Kepler a few tips under this COVID-19 as we're restricted at homestay, uh, just to keep your bodies active and keep, keep everything flexible. So I hope you like this video. Uh, see you soon. Yeah, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, is the grip, because most amateurs don't realize the grip is the nerve center of the whole swing. Wrong grip means wrong shape of the ball. Okay, so the first thing I find a very simple thing you can do at home while you're, while you're at, at home is basically when you hold the club, we have three types of grips. We have, we have interlocking, we have overlapping, like a lot of Americans who play baseball, they prefer the, the ten finger grip. Okay, so each one is very optional. I find this for smaller hands, interlocking is a little bit, little bit better. For the big hands, the overlapping is a little bit better. Americans is not my is not my favorite because of the baseball. They do they do prefer the ten finger grip, uh, which I, I don't advise, but they do feel more comfortable because naturally uh, they do play baseball and they do feel more comfortable. Okay, from there. So a little tip which you, which you can do at home if you place your hands together, you see from east to west. As long as you can do this. It means you can actually hold the club properly. So easily, you will find that most golfers are a little bit unsure where they have the calluses on the hands. It should be basically across the finger line. Okay, anywhere else means you're holding the club incorrectly. Okay, so if I lift my club directly straight up in front of me, yeah, by the way, I am a left-hander, as everybody knows, a keppel. It's, uh, so, so in other words, so, so from here, I'm going to start put the club directly straight up in front of me. So, so firstly, like most groups do have an indication of an arrow or a line pointing straight down. I'm going to hold, as you can see at the bottom, and it's a good place we'll notice immediately for the newcomers, sometimes they don't realize. So I'm going to start with my, me being a left-hander, with my right hand first. Okay, with my club, my, my right thumb pointing straight down the target. The one thing which is very critical, guys, you always never come from under. Okay, always come in from the side. Okay, so, if you come under, it becomes more of a baseball grip, and then of course it becomes more of a hooker's grip. So basically we want to make sure the thumb is following the guideline. And so I come in with my left hand, because I'm a left-hander. Okay, the fingers first, fingers wrap, and comfortably moving over to the other side. Okay, you could almost imagine if I do this as a right-hander. Okay, so I'll start with my left hand first. Personally, I do like to leave just a little bit of space from the end, holding out. So hold it, so I put, point the club out in front of me as a right hander, not a left hander now. My thumb should come straight, point straight down my finger line. Personally, uh, I do like to hold the club, I call it the V shape. So the, shum, the thumb should point just a little bit on the inside with the right thumb coming over to the other side. Making sure that if I look straight down the line, you should be able to see two knuckles on both hands. Two knuckles on the left, two knuckles on the right making sure that your left thumb is completely covered by the right hand. Again, I'm doing this as a right-hander. Okay, so, so so most critically, just remembering, if you can put your, place your hands together from east to west, okay, guys, it's, it's pointing your club directly straight out. Okay, number one, the thumb should point straight down. I find a little bit better, it should come a little bit on the inside. Okay, with the right hand coming in, but never coming under. That's a mistake everyone makes. That's what this becomes more of a baseball grip. Always making sure, this again for a right-hander, we always come in from the side, making sure the fingers come first, then the hand comes over. Okay, so, so intentionally, guys, this will be the perfect grip. Okay, as long as I point directly in front of you, I can see two knuckles on my left, two knuckles on my right, and this is what I consider the perfect grip. Thank you. Yeah, hi guys. The second tip I want to share with you today is about how to stand correctly, uh, meaning your preset routine. As everyone tends to focus on the swing, but what, what creates a great golf swing is the preset routine, knowing how to stand correctly. Firstly, what I like to do uh, with, with most of my students before they start even swinging, whether you're a beginner or a good golfer, it makes no difference. All right, the one thing professionals focus on so much is about how to stand. Okay, I always find uh, basically, with most amateurs, uh, there's a lot of slouchiness, especially I call it the, for the, especially for the office worker. Okay, number one, first thing, 
The most common thing I see every day is a lot of this. Okay, the hunchback. I'll share the turtle back. Okay, so first thing, a little drill I, thought I want to show you. Make sure you stand correctly. Uh, because, because the critical thing in golf, you have to use the right muscles uh, to avoid any form of injury. You don't hurt yourself. Okay, the first thing, just a quick little tip. And if I place the club down the back of my spine, I'm going to stick my bum out. My beautiful touche. Okay, so so the first thing I'm gonna I'm gonna bend. But first thing too, understandably, you want to make sure the weight is on the back of your heels. Okay, tennis is a little bit different. It's on the toes. Golf is on the back. So what you should be feeling is a little bit of cushioning on the back of the heels. You should feel the glutes, the thigh muscles, and the spinal angle. So as long as I stand correctly, okay, when I'm setting up to the ball, means I can turn correctly. Okay, what I'm talking about is my spinal angle. Once I start slouching, means my rotation will come from my lower back. But you want to feel that everything is coming from your lower torso. Okay, so as long as I stand correctly, means I can turn correctly. Okay, so again, again, uh, guys, is it just making sure? Anyway, hey, hi guys. One more thing I'd like to add to the to the setup. Just always remember, okay, always keep your chin up. Yeah, the worst thing someone can ever say to you is put their head down. That's, one, that's probably the worst statement on, on the planet when it comes to golf. Always try and feel, guys, when you're setting up, always keep your chin up. Not, don't feel uncomfortable, but uh, you, you will find too, if you stand correctly, your chin will come out naturally. Okay, if you've got a double chin, bad luck, bad, I can't help you. Okay, so, on you go. Yeah, so, so guys, initially, when you swing the club back, you should have zero interference from your chin to your shoulder. On the way back, <clears throat> on the way through. Okay, from here. This gets back to the posture where if you start slouching, straight away, your chin tends to drop in. If I stand correctly, bum out, chest out, my chin will come out naturally. So just a little exercise at home. Okay guys, almost like the same as passing in football, you know, from right to left. Okay, but again, I wanna make sure I have total clearance of my left right shoulder or your left shoulder going under, my case is right and going under. Okay, the shoulder. Anytime if you feel like your chin touches your shoulder, stop and start again. Okay, because this guys the feeling is you want to, if I talk about my spinal angle being straight at any time during the swing, okay guys, your head should not move. The feeling what I like to feel is if I have a stake going through my head to the ground. Okay, let my head's in a vice. Okay, so from top to bottom, I want to make sure my head doesn't move. Structurally, again, if I stand correctly, I think of my spinal angle. Okay, right shoulder going under, as a, or left shoulder going under, vice versa. At the same point, my head should move. My head should not move from that one position. Okay, so so again, guys. Okay, that's why it's so critical to make sure if I stand correctly. You do not have to worry about the chin, the chin will come up naturally. So, my point is, this all comes down to the setup. Okay, so, watch your feet, bum out, chest out, a little exercise at home. Okay, so just feeling, okay, shoulder under, left shoulder under, right shoulder under. Again, if you have any interference, stop and start again. As we all know, that ball's not moving. If you start dancing, you're going for a holiday because most people look like the ferry going to bin time. Okay, they like to rock the boat. Okay, because most of the problems doesn't come from the swing, it comes from the balance. Okay, if I swing back, shoulder under, shoulder under, I should be still in the same spot. Thank you. Yeah, hi guys. Yeah, it's, um, I just want to give you a couple of little home drills that to keep up the, the muscles active and, and, and try and just keep that little bit of acceleration going through the golf ball. Okay, so just because as you, everybody knows, everybody wants to hit the ball further, it's all, it's all about speed. Okay, just to make sure that you don't lose that little bit of um, hand eye coordination, just a couple of small drills can help you get, just doing some little exercise at home. Yeah, first one which I find is very good, uh, just to warm the wrist up, it's just every morning, just keep the, keep the hands active, yeah, just going from side to side, Okay, again, it's, you know, golf is all about speed, it's all about acceleration. Okay, a good one which I find is a very good one at home. Just place the club out in front of you. Okay, again, I'm going to swing the club back. I'm going to point the club up directly in front of me. 
making sure again the grip is correct. So put the point of the club out in front of your chest, making sure the toe of the club is pointing straight up. You're going to swing the club back from side to side. So meaning I'm going to open the club, I'm going to close it over. That'll be like ping pong, tennis, American baseball, we roll the hands over. So this particular drill will allow us to keep that little bit of speed up. Okay, but so we don't lose that because of course when we're at home, the muscles freeze up and we tend to get a little bit lazy. So just to keep everything active, place the club out in front of you. Again, guys, I'm not going to turn from my shoulders. I'm not going to turn from my arms. I'm going to turn from my hands. As my hands go back, as my arms swing back naturally, my big muscles will turn naturally, but relaxed. Okay, again, the mistake everybody makes, they tend to use too much of the shoulders, which means everything tenses up. Because I want you to feel, guys, as what's connected to my arms is my shoulders. As my arms swing back naturally, my shoulders will turn naturally, but with a, a relaxed motion. Okay, but again, I'm using my hands, I'm not using my, my shoulders, I'm not using my arms. Okay, so me as a natural left-hander, as I get back to my central positioning, what I want to make sure is the face of the club is pointing over. Okay, again, getting back to tennis, ping pong, get it in. Okay, especially the ones who want to draw the ball, of course, we need to rotate the hands over. So it's a combination to draw the ball, means, of course, it's the hand rotation, but also it complements the speed. So when you're at home, what you can do, okay, just as a home exercise, okay, I'm gonna swing it back. I'm going to open, I'm going to come back, and then close the face over. Okay, so initially, again, but the critical thing is do not move your head. Okay, I find a lot of people do this drill, but the head is everywhere. Okay, as most people, you know, they do tend to dance too much, or the phrase I, I use, I look like a fairy going to Bintan. Okay, well, I want to make sure my head is stationary. I just start off slowly, but can I emphasize, I'm a left-hander, so my, my dominant hand will be my left hand. For a right-hander, okay, again, will be the right hand closing over. Okay, this is um, just to help you guys keep active and keep the muscles flowing. Okay, but the most important thing is do not move your head. Okay, think of the state. I'm going to open. I'm going to close. I'm going to open. Like this. this position here, what I'm feeling here, similar to this feeling here but again guys the turning becomes true so it's all about hand rotation okay so this complements the speed but also complements the distance okay so just let me even do it at home just to help you out okay so these two little drills i think will keep the body in the right motion but i find that most importantly guys is do not move your head bingo okay now guys, one more thing I want to share with you uh, is that we're talking about the balance. So when you're at home, it's a little things you do at home because everyone tends to emphasize too much on the swing, but not understanding that 80% of your consistency comes from your legs. Okay, so what you can do at home is uh, just a little drill. Just put your feet together. Okay, again, getting back to the, making sure you know, the head doesn't, doesn't move, stake through the head. Okay, so feet together. Okay, and just to take a normal swing, again, just feeling like your left shoulder and your right shoulder is going under each other. Again, so just focusing on, okay, left shoulder under, right shoulder under. Again, making sure we don't move. Sometimes we don't realize you know, how much we're moving, okay, from this. So just something at home, just put your feet together. Again, you know, make sure the back is straight. Check your posture when you do this one. Again, making sure the weight is on the back of the heels. But the, again, the emphasizing, if you don't have a mirror, get someone to you know, sort of hold your head. Okay, so first one, again, posture, again, set up correctly as you would with a normal seven iron. Okay, but again, most importantly, left shoulder under, right shoulder under with no interference. Okay, one of my favorite ones is, uh, that's a basic one, feet together. A better one is putting one foot behind. Okay, I'm doing this as a right-hander. Okay, so feet together, put one foot back. So all the weight's going to be, all the tension should be basically resting on your left leg. Okay, so the supporting leg is the right one. But just make sure when you lean forward, don't lean on the front of the toe. Feel like the weight is on the back of the heel. Okay, so when you make a swing, all, all that tension as a right-hander, all the weight's moving to the to your left side. But again, uh, again, making sure the back is straight. Okay, so just make a normal swing. 
swing back and swing through, making sure all the weight remains on the front foot. If I do it as a forward visual, I'm going to put my feet together, okay, as a right-hander, okay, so I'm going to pull the right foot back, so, so all the weight should be resting on the outside of your left leg. So the position of the ball should be in the center, but again, okay, as I swing back, my head is not moving. Okay, if I swing back naturally, again, as I follow through, all the weight should be resting on your left leg. Okay, so you should be able to make a full swing. If you can maintain and hold that balance for two seconds, at least you know your balance is pretty good. Yeah, hi guys. That's, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. This is just a few little, few little tips for you to keep you occupied when you're at home. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, probably the next little video I'm going to be shooting from my house. Yeah, just a little bit of stretching on how to keep yourself flexible and, and just moving over the next month or two. So anyway, enjoy the video. I hope it helps. And uh, I guess I'm off now to have a beer. Okay, see you later. Ciao.